Okay, so I've just put this at the start of this video uh, after I've edited pretty much all of the video because I had some interesting results and uh, don't judge it by the start of the video or midway through the video, wait till the end and I basically sum it all up there uh, because uh, I had some really interesting results and quite unexpected. Okay, so a while ago I did a test on this very long SD card extender cable. So you can see it's plugged into the back, got a bit of paper holding it in just because my Pi 400 slot doesn't work properly. Um, but uh, you can see here it's very long, very flimsy, and I've got a card in here which is a Samsung Evo. But I've just recently bought uh, this one here, which is a full size SD to micro SD adapter. And the reason I bought a full size SD is you don't have to keep using that mechanism to slot it in and out because you can use an SD card slot adapter. This is tricky with one hand. There you go. So because I can use that, and this is obviously replaceable, uh, it means that I can pop my SD card into that and I'm only using this mechanism, this will stay put. So let's uh, see how they compare from a speed point of view. Now I'm already doing better than the previous video because I really struggled to get operating systems to boot with this long cable. Uh, and uh, it's booted fine on this and I've been using it and uh, it hasn't been an issue, but we've had several EEPROM updates since then. Plus this is a Pi 400, so that may make a bit of a difference as well. So let's close that down and let's go for the speed test. Accessories, diagnostics. And this has already taken quite a while. Now I've recently done some speed tests on SSD drives and it's super quick on that. But also I think because it's failing on one of the elements of the test, it does the test again and again and again. I think it does three tests on its own uh, if it fails on anything. And uh, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've come up with a fail, which is uh, not surprising. Uh, let's have a look how badly it failed though. So we've got sequential write speed 5105, uh, random write speed 17, oh, uh, random read speed was good, that's weird. So it's the write speed that we're failing on, look, because, uh, and I've noticed that with uh, Raspberry Pi diagnostics, the first test is often like it's kind of sleeping. Uh, so that's why I always do three tests, because uh, you'll often find the first test is not representative at all of the speed of your device. Right, so... Uh, what's the best one from that? So the best one's here, I would say, overall. Although this, you could you could say either of those. So let's copy that one, and let's pop it in here. And I've got a speed test from ages ago with this same card in the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, and so, yeah, you could see that the sequential write speed was twice as fast, pretty much, nearly. Uh, the random write speed is way faster, and the random read speed was not that different. So it's random write speed is the bit that it's really struggling on. So uh, I'm just going to put long cable and it's all going to be the Samsung Evo. Right, so let's save that. And I need to reboot with the short cable in place. There we go. So it looks a lot neater with the short cable in place. Uh, you can see there that doesn't take up a lot of room, but it is handy because it gives me access to the SD card slot, as I say, especially because my SD card slot uh, doesn't hold a card in it normally. So let's have a look at that on screen capture. Okay, so we're booted up with the short cable in. So let's do that speed test. And run tests. Still taking a while, so I think it's also failing. Okay, so it's also failed. Uh, so let's show log and see how badly it failed. Uh, so the first test is usually, well, the first test did all right. Uh, but it's the random write speed is terrible, isn't it? 78, the fa in fact, the, fa the first test was the fastest. I think this one's probably the fastest overall. They're all fairly similar, actually, those. Uh, so let's copy that and pop that into this, and then we can do a comparison. Okay, so sequential write speed is hit very hard, 24,000. Bearing in mind, this was done when the card was fairly new. I'm going to do it on the cards in the card slot on its own without the cable to see, because I've been running an operating system on this, I've used it quite a lot for different videos, and uh, so that would affect the usage of it. So long cable, 13212, about the same actually, random write speed, actually faster on the long cable, and uh, random read speed is slightly slower. The weird thing about this is that 
I was thinking this was going to come out that the short cable was better and uh, was giving me better results, but actually it's not. And the weird thing about this is that I've definitely found it more reliable, more things boot from the short cable. And I've also, I've written operating systems to an SD card in the actual adapter. So I've been using an SSD as my drive and I've written to the SD card in the short cable and that worked fine. And I've also used operating systems to write to an SSD drive but using this short cable. And I was fully prepared to say this, this cable is excellent and uh, it does a really good job. And I was expecting the speed test to be uh, really good but obviously it's not. So I guess you only use one of these if you have to. So let's shut it down again and I'll boot up with just the micro SD card straight in the slot of the Pi 400 and see how the speed test goes on that. So I need to save this first and shut down. Okay, so Samsung Evo card is now in the SD slot. You can see it with the paper there. Okay, so let's launch diagnostics and run tests. Hopefully this will go through straight away uh, as a pass and shouldn't take quite as long. It's not looking good, it's been going for a while now. Okay, so it's come up with a fail and this is directly in the SD, SD card reader of the Pi 400. So let's show log and see where it failed. See, it, it never, sequential write speed is nowhere near as fast as it was. Now, as I said fr from the start, I was running an operating system on this, I have been running an operating system from this card for a while, but that's a big drop in performance compared to when it was new. So let's take the best result from this which is probably going to be this one, or maybe this one. I'm going to go with this one. So it's failing on the random write speed. Now, that definitely could be down to this operating system. I need to do this uh, with a fresh install on, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this as a fresh install, but let's pop that in. So I've labeled it Samsung 32 Evo in SD slot, not new install, um, basically to show that it's been running for a while. But look, 13162. It's actually slower than the long and the short cable. The random write speed is slower than the long cable and the random read speed is slower than the short cable. So actually, I go back on what I said. So I'm gonna to need to redo this, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna to have to use a, well, I haven't got any new cards. I suppose I could use uh, a fresh install on a card and see if that makes a difference. But yeah, really interesting. Okay, so I've just used the same SD card and uh, I've flashed it with Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit and uh, I've just done a speed test after restarting it for the first time and uh, you can see it's come up with a fail. Uh, so let's have a look at the log. Yeah, I'm still getting these terrible speeds. Uh, so the random write speed is still way, way below. And I think that's really interesting because this card isn't that old. I have had operating systems on it and uh, I've used uh, this operating system quite a bit. Okay, so we've got another fail again. Uh, Switch for ride speed's all right, but that random write speed look on the middle test went down to 78 again. And we didn't pass on any of those tests. So it's kind of making me think that uh, as SD cards, I mean, as I say, it's not an, it's not an old SD card, but uh, it's kind of making me think twice about running an operating system from an SD card because you're not gonna get that same sort of degradation from an SSD drive. So, uh, and I mostly run Twister OS from an SSD drive, but uh, that's disappointing really. Okay, so I'm still on the Pi 400. I'm still in the SD card reader, same card, haven't changed anything. And I've just got this as a test result. I have restarted a couple of times uh, because I figured that could be what was doing it. So maybe the operating system needs a bit of time to settle in. And I've got quite a good score there. So I'm gonna copy that and pop that in that document install just to keep track of things. Okay, so this is the short cable, uh, still on the Raspberry Pi OS new install. So let's run the tests. Okay, so we've got a pass, that's good. Uh, so let's hit show log. And it passed first time as well, although it's not looking great. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is copy that and then do another test and another test. Uh, 16925, 533, right, that's pretty good. I think that's probably better than the other one we've got. So let's pop that underneath just to have a look at it first of all, see which one I think is the best one. 16925, 533, 543, yeah, I'm gonna go with the one I've just done then. And then we'll do one more test just to see what it's doing. 
Okay, so 16934, 696. Weirdly, that 696 is faster than the random write speed. It seems to be able to handle the random write speed and read speed, but it seems to really fall down on the sequential write speed. And I, well, this is what I was figuring was going to happen. I figured it was going to be that the uh, cable was going to take a bit of speed away from it. That, that seemed logical to me that if you get the card further away on a long cable, it's going to suffer a little bit. And this is starting to, to show that. It depends what happens when I get the long cable. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. So save that and then I'm going to reboot with the long cable now. Okay, so let's try the long cable now. Okay, so I've just run the third test on the long cable. And let's see where we're coming. Oh, that's definitely improved. 25,332. Well, I don't understand the results really. So uh, where I thought it was going to get worse with the longer cable, which I'd had trouble with in the past, that long cable with certain operating systems, it actually seems to be performing better than the short cable, which I thought was going to be better. So uh, here we've got, so since, since we've reinstalled below the cursor here, so Samsung 32 Evo new install, 23,684. Well, actually, the long cable has given me a sequential write speed that is faster, which shouldn't make sense, really. Uh, random write speed is faster, uh, and random read speed is only a little bit slower. So out of the three, in some ways, the best performer is the long cable, so it makes no sense, really. Okay, so let's try and make some sense of this. Uh, so... On the left here, uh, Samsung Evo 32, this would have been when the card was fairly new and uh, I did a speed test when I first had it. So pretty good results, 24,871, random write speed 626, random read speed 3513. So happy with that. So next, if we go down to the bottom here and compare it to an operating system that has been running for a while. And uh, I've inst I'd installed lots of things into it. So uh, I'd installed things, played games, done all sorts of things with it. So it had been used as a proper operating system. But it's interesting to see how bad the results got. So the random read speed wasn't hit that hard, 3513 to 3349. Uh, but the sequential write speed, 24,871, dropped right down to 13,162. And I guess that's because the SD card had got more fragmented over time. So it meant that it was slower on that. But it also affects the random read speed as well. So 78 compared to 626, so really bad results. So th this kind of made me think that I didn't really think too much because it's an SD card because there's no moving parts. I didn't think you would need to uh, reinstall, do a fresh install of an operating system. But now I think I'll do it more often. I probably need to do this same sort of comparison with an SSD as well to see how much that's affected by having an operating system over time. And I, I just, I know this has been around for a long time, you know, on Windows computers I used to defragment to get better performance, but I hadn't really considered it that much uh, on Linux or on the Pi. Um, but obviously it does make a difference because on the right hand side here, when we look at these new installs, so even on the long cable, so what should be the weakest link, We've got 25,332, which is better than the original fresh card uh, in the SD card slot in the Pi 4 uh, back along. Uh, random write speed was the fastest I think I've had in all of these tests, uh, 706, on this particular card. And also random read speed, 3491, which was slightly lower than that, but really good. So one of the best results I've had has been on uh, a Samsung 32 Evo with a long cable. Uh, so I need to investigate this more, but, but leave your uh, comments. I'm always interested to see what other people do and what other people think. Um, but are you finding the same, uh, that the SD card really suffers over time? And it's not that the SD card seems to be damaged or, or worn in any way. It's more just the operating system itself and having things installed and uninstalled and general use seems to uh, impact it quite hard, really, in quite a short amount of time. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.